Hello boys and girls, welcome back to another video of my channel. Today, um, the postman was here with uh, some deliveries that I was uh, actually really, really waiting for. Um, it is two very rare cars, slot cars. Could have guessed that, haven't you? Um, and um, I'm not too sure whether the one to 24 was uh, actually delivered in the US. That's why I'm uh, also doing this video and this unwrapping. Um, I was really, really waiting for it. And I don't know yet whether I should actually unwrap it and build it or just leave it in the package. You just give me your ideas, your ideas, your thoughts. Write them in your comments or in the comments of this video, please. Um, I really, really don't know because the kit is quite rare now. Um, I have to look up when it was actually, or when it actually came out. Um, but I'll let you know, I'll let you know in the comments or in the text uh, below this video. So join me. The second part is for the HO guys. Um, it's uh, a well-known car, of course. Uh, but I was really looking in the area here to find someone who still got uh, those cars left and I found a guy about 200 kilometers, 250 kilometers away from here that still had one left. It was the last one of his uh, collection. Um, I hope it made the trip um, and comes here, comes out well. Um, that's the second part of the video. So one rare 1 to 24 kit car not really a car but you'll see in a minute and the second one is an HO um, just digging or combing through the area here um, trying to find someone where I could still buy uh, decent priced HO cars from the times meaning 60s 70s and today for the first time I'm gonna use a second aid help which is I'm sure you've seen a baseball cap before, but this is a so-called Mobius camera. It's a small action camera. Um, it can do full HD and I'm going to use those so I'm to have my hands free while unpacking. So stay tuned. So here we are with our first parcel. Really curious. That's the bigger one. Um, I think well, I know what's in it. Um, I was curious on how people actually wrap up their uh, parcels that they sent. So, um, as I've already destroyed, I think, one or two deliveries by opening it the wrong way, I'm really, really careful. So, but this should work. So, yes, here we are. Now, it is big. Well, kind of. It's not a 32 thing. Yes, it's a sidecar. It's a sidecar that is 1 to 18 in scale and it was produced by BRM. They don't produce it anymore. Yes, you heard it right. BRM made this beauty. Um, a very unusual wrapping for BRM because usually they have their beautiful boxes and uh, but this is just a blister and a carton, and that's it. Um, gonna have a closer look in a minute. Okay. So yes, that's what it looks like. Um, again, it's not produced anymore, uh, and it was very hard to find because I don't know. People seem to hoard them or sit on them and don't let go of them. Um, this is a white kit. Um, they also sold it in two painted uh, uh, variations, um, but I got hold of this white kit. It's got two co-drivers, co-driver figures with it. That's the one for the straights, and the second one here for a left turn. I like them both. Not sure yet which one I should put on if I build it, which brings me to the question, should I paint it and build it or should I just keep it and collect it? 
What do you guys think? Um, drop me a line of what you think or what you would do. Again, very hard to find nowadays. I'm gonna unscrew now the chassis from the body. It's got three screws that are, uh, that the body is attached to the chassis, quite long screws, oops, wrong way. And that's the second one. Uh, as you can see, the chassis has got no suspension or no uh, edge part for the body wobble on it. It's screwed on tight. I'm really curious on what the chassis will look like on the inside. Yes, those long, those screws are long. They are. Uh, give me a second. Come on. Okay, here we go. So that's the chassis. There's also the driver's figure in it and a few more little details in this pack, like the guide uh, and also a few decals, not many. Um, and two braids, of course, to go with it. The chassis looks interesting, especially the setup of the motor and the gear. I'm going to show you in a second. I've got the camera set up properly. Properly, I said. Okay. Um, yeah, interesting chassis, really interesting. Never seen anything like that before. But first of all, let's have a look what's in the small package here again the driver's fig driver figure the guide and uh, braids and a few decals so i'm gonna take that out give me a sec okay need to fill it out yep here we go oh there's also a photo etched part yes very thin <laughs> very hard to catch there you go uh, and as I mentioned, braids. I took, I tend to take always silver plates on my 1232, 1224, and also HO cars if I'm allowed to use braids. But that's a different story. Gonna be a different video then. Come on. Thin blade, uh, thin braids. So, that's the driver figure. How do you put it in? No, that's too far up, I think. It needs to come from underneath, I think, because that's definitely by far too high. What it, yeah, that looks good. I like it. I really like it. Can I get it through here? No, I can't. Okay, just, was just a try. Um, so that's what it should look like in the end. Yes, much better. And the co-driver. I like that setup. That really, really looks great. But again, I don't know whether I'm going to build it or just keep it. Now, that's the motor with the gears. Both rear wheels are driven by the same motor. As you can see, very interesting Sidewinder setup. Uh, the rest of the chassis is quite basic, especially the front wheel. Um, and there you can see you could change the gearing, yes, if you take it apart, um, which I'm not sure yet. Again, <laughs> just drop me your comments, your ideas, your lines, and what do you think? Is it a keeper? Is it a shelf queen? Or is it a racer? Um, okay, so. That's all there is. I'm gonna wrap it up again, put it back together. Because for the moment, it's a keeper and it's a shelf queen. Until I made my mind up or I read your suggestions. Um, okay, into the bag. In you go. Come on. Yeah. There you go. And. Uh, Again, there were two different paint schemes that BRM delivered those sidecars um, that I've seen on the net. Uh, I've seen a few uh, painted ones uh, from other owners that did really a good, good work on painting those in, with a race setup, race colors. So the long screws back in. Uh, Okay, nope, 
I need to push the chassis forward a little. Yep. There you go. Now that looks better. Yes. So back in with the long screws. Yep. So I'd love to see those on a racetrack, like two or four next to each other, but they're quite wide. I haven't measured the the the, the, the width of the rear wheels, but it looks it looks quite big. Um I'll put a a scale out to uh, 1 to 24 push next to it and you'll see the size and then you see that it's actually a 1 to 18 and not a 1 to 24. Uh, but again, it would be interesting to have two or four of those next to each other on the racetrack. Um, would look interesting, I think. I've seen a, a photos of a Swiss club that actually raced them. So oops looking for the Porsche give me a sec where is it um scale out to Porsche on the way yes here it is so there you can see the dimensions I think the width is nearly the same that's like a 84 or something uh, millimeters of course on the Porsche wrong way and uh, so yes that should be very interesting on a four lane track to have four of those next to each other. So that's the second parcel that arrived today. It is actually smaller. Um, and also what's going to be in it is hopefully a lot smaller. Um, I'm trying to comb through my neighborhood uh, to find new cars or old cars, like in this case, um, the, the neighborhood is now something like 200 to 300 kilometers in, in diameter or in radius even, uh, which, which uh, brought me to this former car owner. He had a, he had a collection and this is actually the last car that he had and I got it for a reasonable price. And yes, I love those cookies when they're in the tiramisu. Um, that's what we make it of, but yeah, enough of that. I'm going to look into the package and see if the delivery is what I did expect. That's the way in. Yep. So hopefully well wrapped. Hopefully it arrived in one piece. Uh, that looks good. Yep. Uh, oh no, sorry. Second part in it where the actual car is. Yes, there it is. Um, so let's have a look what's in there. Uh, looking good, feeling good. So let's have a look. Yes, it's an old Aurora T-Jet, a Lola GT. Looks unbroken to me from the outside. No broken window posts, no cutout wheel valves. That looks actually pretty good to me. Uh, again, very hard to find in my area anymore. This used to be Fala country. So any Aurora T-Jets, hard to find. Yeah, also looks good. Uh, not too much oxidation on that. Of course, we're going to screw it apart to see what the inside looks like. But again, the body looks really, really good. No broken window posts, no broken roof or anything else broken off. So that does look good. So give me a second to unscrew that. Yes. Okay, just loosen that and open that one completely to see what the inside looks like and the screw posts look like. That comes apart nicely. So yeah, that really looks nice, a little dirty. The screw posts unbroken that is also very good. Yes, it does, couldn't need or could take a little cleaning with a uh, soap, water, and uh, I don't know, maybe a toothbrush. And oops, this doesn't turn at all. It feels stuck. Yeah, 
completely stuck. So I guess I'm going to take a look inside what the reason for that is. Um, if it's mechanical or just some old grease or oil in there. That makes it so tight, comes off easily. Okay, a lot of dirt in it. Oh yeah, comes apart hardly. So that's what it looks like. But everything seems to be there, like magnets, brush, yes. First brush already fell off. The second one is in there, gonna take it out. Yeah, okay. Chassis looking good to me, nothing broken, just dirty. So I can take care of that, that's no problem. And yes, now the rear axle turns freely. That looks a little burnt, but nothing uh, that scares me off. can clean it off very easily. Um, to clean the armature, I'm using this fiberglass pen. Well worth the investment and works really, really great. But hey, give me a sec. That's really tight. That's so tight. Now I want to have a look in there at first to see why it is so tight. And to me, yep, this looks like old grease, old oil. That makes it stuck. Also, yeah, the rear gear, same here. So I guess I'm going to take a little brake fluid, uh, a few drop of, drops of that to make it loose 